Buckingham Palace has unveiled the full program to mark Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee. Her Majesty, 95, will become the first British monarch to celebrate the milestone, as she marks 70 years of service. Throughout the year, the Queen and members of the royal family will travel around the country, undertaking a variety of engagements to mark the occasion. On Monday, the palace released the full program ahead of the celebrations. It include parades, concerts, and a bank holiday. It is not clear which events Her Majesty will attend following orders to rest by doctors last year. Celebrations are set to kick off on January 10 with the Platinum Pudding Competition. Run by Fortner Mason, it seeks to find a dish which can be dedicated to the Queen's historic milestone. Recipes will be judged by an expert panel, including Dame Mary Berry. The Queen's Green Canopy Initiative will continue to plant new trees to present to her at the end of the year. From May 12 to 15, more than 500 horses and 1,000 performers are expected to take part in a show in the grounds of Windsor Castle. This will take the audience through royal history, from Elizabeth I to the present day. The rest of the celebrations are expected to take place later in the year. June 2nd will mark the first day of the special four-day bank holiday when the Queen's Birthday Parade, also known as Trooping the Colour, takes place in Horse Guards Parade. On the same day, the UK, Channel Islands, Isle of Man and UK Overseas Territories will come together to light a beacon. The beacon will be lit at the same time as the principal beacon at Buckingham Palace. On June 3rd, a service of thanksgiving for the Queen's reign will be held at St. Paul's Cathedral, ahead of the star-studded Platinum Party at the Palace on Saturday, June 4th. The party is expected to bring together some of the world's biggest names in entertainment. On June 5th, street parties are being planned across the UK, with neighbours expected to join together for food and fun to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee. It will mark the end of the bank holiday. Adrian Evans, the pageant master, revealed there will be a special tribute to the Queen and her late husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Philip died in April 2021, aged 99. Throughout the celebrations, some of the Queen's estates, including Sandringham and Balmoral, will be opened for residents and visitors to enjoy. Performers, dancers, musicians, military personnel, key workers and volunteers will tell the story of the Queen's reign in the Platinum Jubilee pageant. This will include a river of hope, made up of 200 silk flags, which will make its way along the mall. School children across the country have been invited to create a picture of their hopes for the planet over the next 70 years, and some of their designs will be put onto the flags. In July, three displays marking the Queen's accession to the throne, the coronation and jubilees will be put on at Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House.